this rather nice little pocket radio I've had for years and years. I'm not sure how, how many years. I, th I think probably since the early 1990s. And this has been in a box in the loft for quite some time. And I was quite surprised to find that it's actually still fully working. Let me demonstrate. Here's my pocket amplifier that I built a few videos ago. Uh, this the way this works is the uh, the speaker the uh, headphone socket is also the antenna so it's quite clever it uses the lead here as the antenna for FM So, I mean, I think that's really amazing. It's been in storage for the longest time and it's still uh, fully operational. It's really lasted incredibly well. So let's have a peek inside, see what the electronics from the 1990s looks like. Let's pop off the clip. So this is it, the Ross RSR 292 solar radio FM AM and with an internal NICAD battery 1.2 volt NICAD battery which is amazingly still holding charge after all these decades just pop the sides open There we go. The solar cell in the top. And a really very dirty and horrible circuit board. That is the, the coil going through a hole in the circuit board here. So we've got some, some chips. I mean, this is a relatively sophisticated design seven seven nine two seven seven six six that's it's Eight one O O is it? I don't know. We'll have to look those up. So we've got some chips on the back of the rather dirty looking circuit board here. Let's pop this out. And obviously for the time this is this was how these type of circuits used to be made using the three through hole components and here's the uh, the NICAD battery here that's quite a big one so NICAD and then on on the top here this is all pretty standard radio stuff isn't it all capacitors and I think that's a inductive trimmer there and you got the mode switch on the top here so it's all rather dirty and nasty but still working still working after all this long time Plastic there. Huh? 
Oh yeah, the, the clips are breaking, but it's not really surprising because the plastic's going to be a bit tired after all these years. difficult to reassemble than to take apart. Let's try it that way. Okay. So there we go. The Ross RSR 292. A relic from the past.